What is up everyone? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to read your Spotify podcast analytics. Yes, so we're going to start off with on where to go basically and essentially how to read these analytics for your podcast that you either just started or you have been started for a while and now you want to deep dive into the numbers and figure out what is going on with your podcast. So I will leave a link below, but it's supposed to be where you initially uploaded your podcast or your RSS feed to Spotify. So the website is podcasters.spotify.com. So that is where you need to go and log in with the account that you basically made to submit your RSS feed. Um, so most of you, if you don't know, I have a podcast called Broke Millennial Finance in which I help people um, or me and my partner who's also on this channel, we try to essentially give people some financial advice on how we've or on like personal experience on what we did to make money and essentially how to have a better personal lifestyle. So it's like more so in personal finance. Um, if you want to listen to it, the links will be in the description below for you guys to check out. Or you could just search it on any service such as I, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. And you will be able to find it. Now, to move into the actual thing on what you need to do to get to that point. Um, you can either click into the each individual episode or I would say start off with clicking into catalog and once you're in catalog you will see your podcast essentially pop up on um, like w which one you have uh, I believe you can have multiple over here so it's not a big deal you can just continue submitting a different RSS feed to get what you have now I started my podcast in February uh, 13th or 12th of 2020 so I just started this year last month so it's been a little over a month and a half and I have seven up episodes published on Spotify um, I just up up published uh, episode uh, seven two days ago or actually today if anything it says today uh, I know I actually did it yesterday I believe it just populated today but as you can see there's nothing there it does take a few days for the data to kick in um, it's not like YouTube uh, none of these spots have a algo or like analytics like YouTube so you do have to bear with it Spotify does have the best one out of all of them and we will get into the details why now we're gonna start off with just the top you will obviously see your podcast there you will see a feature that says set trailer which I will make another video on, completely separate thing. And we're going to talk about the main four things you see here. Starts, streams, listeners, and followers. And we're going to start with each one. Starts, with the exception of it giving you like a little bit of an overview of what it is, is essentially that. It's someone who just pressed the play button, and that's it. So it could literally be for zero seconds, and that user just pressed it, and he or she could have walked away. So as long as the play was pressed, it, pushed, it points as a start. So obviously your starts will be the highest out of everything because not everyone's going to listen to it even more than a couple of seconds. It could be an accident. It could be he or she said, this is not what I was trying to do. I don't like the intro, etc. So it can go in many different routes. Streams is what you should kind of focus on as well. This is where a user could have multiple times listened to it over a 60 second period of time. And that is very interesting to keep in mind. So this person, as if they stayed at least 60 seconds, that's good for you. That means they listen to the podcast and now they're they're riding deep in with you. They're going all the way, man. Uh, you have listeners, which is a unique Spotify user. So um, a user can listen or stream multiple episodes. So do keep that in mind. So I had had 1,500 unique listeners. And now from those 1,500 unique listeners, I have 500 subscribers or followers so this is people who press the subscribe button on my podcast on spotify which is really good for a month and a half i'm doing very well i actually haven't even grown this fast on youtube so i'm really happy that my podcast is doing well and a lot of people are liking it so i'm really happy about that i do wish it were there was more stuff so you could do on podcasts like i said similar to youtube like comments or feedback um most spots don't have feedbacks with the exception of apple uh, so only Apple Podcasts, you can leave a review per se, um, but you can do that with Spotify, you can do that with um, Stitcher, you can do that with Google Play, to my knowledge. So those kind of sucks that you can do that. So again, like YouTube, where you could, you can actually leave a like, dislike, uh, comment, etc. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get into an episode. So you see all your episodes at the bottom, and you will see, you can filter them, and you can do whatever you want from there. And um before we get into the episodes, I'm going to see audience and I'm going to show you high level where my audiences are, how much they streamed every day. As you can see, you know, starts, people clicked it, but it was zero seconds um, or like less than 60 seconds per se. And then streams is over the 60 seconds of how many people did. Again, you will always have more uh, starts than you would have streams. 
Uh, it shows my listeners as well how many people are actually listening to the podcast. And, and again, these are all the things I talked about on how it was going. And this is, you see my gro- uh, gradual growth on followers, where now I have 491. Uh, you have your gender breakout as well. So um, I guess just because of the niche, I guess, I could be wrong. <laughs> I have more male than female. Um, and you have your not specified and non-binary binary as well. Only Spotify, I believe, provides this data with the not specified and non-binary. No one else does. Um, and age group, as you can see, it's geared toward millennials and young people. And you can see I have that chunk range group of 23 to 27 and even 28 to 34. The 18 to 22 starts falling into the Gen Zs, I think. Uh, but they can be, I guess, classified as millennials, depending on which spectrum you're looking at it from. And you also get artists they're listening to, which is weird. I don't know what that one signifies. I have not yet deciphered this specific analytics piece but that is available as well and you have the countries and you see you see every single country obviously my biggest country is the us which is what i'm gearing it towards and that's where it's coming from if it's not the us i do gear towards western countries just because of the type of information i'm providing it's more easily doable in western societies so such as canada australia uk etc whereas you can see australia canada uk and i guess new zealand (laughs) is fairly high on like the next ones after the us um, now, aside from this, this is like an overall view on your general demographics and what's happening. Uh, there's details as well, but this doesn't really do anything. This just talks about, you know, who's my hosting provider, what my RSS feed is, setting a trailer, copying the link to share it. We're going to deep dive into an episode and we're going to go with episode six. As you can see, um, I believe this is the last seven days. I could do inception. So let's do last 90 days. Um, so let's see which one did the best. I guess this one. Oh, uh, nope, this one. Um, what is investing? Episode one. This is basically, as you can see, I had 900 starts, 640 streams, and 700 listeners, which is pretty cool. Uh, so now we're gonna di- dive deep into the analytics of this, and we're gonna do we're gonna do last 90 days. So it's like a full blown picture on how it was the last 90 days. So you can see over here once you hover over the episode performance you explicitly see the retention rate on how many people are still watching so 100 percent retention is everyone stayed at one second or whatever and at the end you can see it's a 30 percent retention rate that means if 100 people are watching listening 30 people stayed till the end a hundred percent so that is your retention rate uh your average or my average listen i should say and if you're looking at your podcast is 10 per 10 minutes which is fairly it's a little less but normally my episodes are 20 minutes and that's the sweet spot i'm trying to keep at people usually listen to my episodes around 10 minutes so i try to not to make go over 20 minutes i try to keep it on 20 minutes and again this was my first episode i was testing it out and people have listened to at least 10 minutes of it so you can see the first quartile, 53% people finish it. Second, 48%. Hence why it's a 10-minute um, average duration. Third quartile, so that's like the third quarter of the end, 40% people. And the final completion is only 28% people left. And again, this can give you a good analysis on like, for let's say you are trying to make money off your podcast eventually. You can present this to a, um, what's it called? Like a publisher or a sponsor. Like, hey, this is how it is. Where do you want me to do a plug? And he or she will say, you know what? I want to do a plug in the second quartile and I'll give you half the money for that. Or someone will say, you know what? This person listened all the way to the end. I'll give you 28 from the, I'll give you the 28% so near the end and let's do it over there. Let's do a plug over there for my product. Again, rates can vary. Obviously, they would want to do it right in the beginning where most people are listening. Some people like to do it in the middle because they see that person stayed till the end or till that point, so it makes sense to like if that person stayed, he or she will definitely listen to my sponsor and purchase my product. So again, it can vary per sponsor, per product and it can vary on those different means. Um, So you can see over here, uh, like I said, I started um, mid-February, so you will not see the, I guess, the January, December, whatever. You'll see more for February dates. And you can see that this is the same thing as before. It's the starts and streams, how it's been going up and down. Um, This is the listeners. It's going to follow in a similar direction. My gender is very similar to my overall demographic, 60% male, 38% female, and I'm assuming the other one or 2% is not specified and non-binary. Same thing with the age group. Again, same... It's the same demographic, so it's going to fall across in that range and country. So as you can see in this one, U.S., Canada, Australia, and U.K. This was the top four I was mentioning. Those are the top four that are listening. Um, I'm assuming the other videos are probably, or podcasts, I should say, are doing better with the other demographics, hence why they're listening, because I've been talking about COVID and whatnot. So it could be due to that. Um, And yeah, so you have your full-blown demographics here. It literally shows you from the beginning to the end what to do with this, how to utilize this. And you can even download this in a CSV format 
and or Excel, I should say, basically, and then do whatever you want. You can make pivot off off of this. You can do uh, your own analysis. You can see which episodes doing better. You can compare the episodes right next to each other. Because again, you don't have the compare and contrast feature over here, so that kind of does suck. But again, you can still slice it and dice it however you want to slice it and dice it. Uh, just to show you another episode, for example, here's episode six. My latest one with data i should say i know episode seven doesn't have um you can see average duration is 10 minutes and again 20 minutes is my time limit so you can see more people obviously listen till the 50th or even the third quartile 40 percent and then 30 percent finished off in the end and again the way you utilize this data is you know, let's say you want to do a plug for yourself and I'm, I'm i'm doing this myself i'm figuring it out and i usually do a plug for the channel i have a channel as well for this uh, financial podcast I do it in the end, but only 30% people, percent of the people who are listening are watching all the way to the end. So let's say it was 100 people and only 30 people stayed. Only 30 people got my message to go check my YouTube channel out and subscribe. And obviously, if it's only 30 people, maybe one might subscribe. So I could have had more subscribers if I said it near the beginning or the middle rather than the end. So you see the direction I'm trying to take this towards, guys. So you can, again, you can slice this, dice this, and utilize these data in very, like, um, in these specific different manners. And again, you can even go by country. You can see which people of countries are watching. You can even publish it based off the time zone. Um, there's no city deep dive. You might need to, like, you go through either like I have Podbean, it shows the city over there or city and state. So you can actually do the deep dive over there. Like, okay, I know most of my, like, let's say 80% of my listeners are from New York. So you know to publish at Eastern Standard Time when people are up and awake. And you even see the time when people are listening the most. So you try to target that time so you can get it pumped up more in the algorithm. You see the most downloads happen at that time. So you want these other sp services like Spotify, Apple, Google to push it more. Think of like the algo working for you. And that's what the whole purpose of this video to teach you how to do the analytics so you can do those push to make your podcast grow more. Again, if I can do it coming so deep late in the game, literally in 2020 and get 500 followers within a month and a half, I guarantee you guys can do it also. I have huge plans for this podcast. I do want it to continue all the way till the end till I die. Uh, but no, I'm going to see, I'm going to do like a progression video on like how to grow your podcast as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for that because I do want to give like tips and tricks on what you guys can do to help grow your, your podcast essentially. So yeah, we'll take it from there. But overall guys, I do hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please smash that like button. It helps a lot with that YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. I will try to help you out as much as I possibly can. Other than that, FNHL.